Hello, Cat at Mike's Landscaping. This is Joel from JND SEO. I talked to you briefly today, Cat, and I told you I'd send you this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste mine, so I'll try to make this as quick as possible. And at the end of this, if you guys like what I am saying, then reach out. We can set up a time to talk. If not, then feel free to take these tips and you guys can apply them yourself. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about today is content. So as you can see, I'm on your homepage here at Mike's Landscaping. And just kind of scrolling through, you guys have a nice banner, that, some really nice work that you guys did. That looks great. You have a little content there. Um, and you do list your services with a little description under them. And you guys have a good amount of pictures. And you do have, uh, looks like everything that you guys do. You guys do a lot of different things. All right, and you have your submit form there, which is good, and your contact info at the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to say is that your homepage looks really good. I mean, you guys have built a nice site here, but I would recommend having a lot more content. And typically, we recommend having over a thousand words of content on your homepage. And the reason that we want so many words is that that allows you to put more keywords into that content, and that allows you to be found on Google searches. So if I go to a Google search here, landscaping Malden MA, where you guys are located. The first thing you would normally see on any Google search is the ad section at the top. Those will bring in customers and traffic to your site. They can be expensive. Um, the new Google guaranteed ads are better than the older ones because the Google guaranteed ads will give you more qualified leads of customers who are definitely more serious. So you're not gonna waste your time. Um, and so the next thing that you're gonna see here is the map section so you guys are number one in the map section so that is really good and this is all based on of citations and so the top three will show up in this little preview screen and citations are just when you get your business name address and phone number listed in a directory site and those are sites like yelp yellow pages home advisor and the more citations you have and the, the stronger citations you have will help you to get ahead in the map section here. So awesome job, guys. You have a good amount of reviews. You guys have a good rating, and you do have some of your information up there. So after the map section, we have what we call the organic section. This is where um, you get the actual company. So again, you guys show up number one in this, so really good job. You have another company right behind you that I'm gonna use as a comparison later for number two. You will have some directories like Yelp shows up and Home Advisor. But you guys are outranking them, so that's really good. So I'm going to take your site here, Mike's Landscaping Co.com, and I'm going to throw it into a site we use called Arifs. And what Arifs does is it allows me to kind of look and see what's going on on your website. So if you think of the internet as a popularity contest, the more people that vote for you, the stronger you know your site will be, and the more attention and traffic you'll get and visitors. So right now you guys have 66 other websites or referring domains sending you back over 150 links. Looks like you did lose one link recently. Um, but what that means is you guys are being searched and found right now for 450 keywords on your page. Uh, you guys did drop 13 recently. Um, and what that is showing is that it's bringing 148 visitors to your page. So you guys did have a big jump recently. You added 33 visitors to your page per month so that's really good and what we can kind of do is there is a snapshot down here it shows you guys have increased your ranking um, a good amount recently um, but what we can do is click these keywords and see where your traffic is coming from so the first thing you'll see is your business name mike's landscaping and you guys have a couple of variations of that um, but if we just look at the first one to start with so mike's landscaping with an apostrophe you have 600 people who are searching at every month. So that's really good. That's a really big number. And you guys are ranked number two for that search. That means you're the second result that comes up. You guys are getting most of that, um, that search. And that's good because that's going to be your repeat business. And that's going to be kind of your referral business. People who found out your name but maybe didn't have all your info. So you really want to capture that because that's business that you should have. Um, down here, you have Mike's Landscaping, Malden MA. I like these ones because they're more specific, where if somebody puts in Mike's Landscaping, there's a chance somebody in another part of the U.S. has a similar name. And so you could be getting some people that you know that you can't actually help. But if you have Mike's Landscaping, Malden MA, I mean, it, chances are it's you. 
So even though the number is smaller, you can help 100% of those people and you are number one for that. So you are getting like all of that as well, which is awesome. This is a really good search here. This is what I use for my Google search, Landscaping Malden MA. 50 people search this every month and you guys are ranked number one. Just as we saw here, you were the first result that showed up in the organic section. So what that means is you're getting pretty much all of that. So you definitely you guys are getting the majority of your traffic in these top ones. And the thing with water feature installation is 40 people search it. You guys are number three. You did drop a spot in the last month. But the problem with this is a national term. So you could get people that you can't help. They're in another state. Um, another variation here, Malden Landscaping. You guys are number three. You did just move up a spot. Good job. And then if we go Landscaping Mass, it's a little more vague. So if you do service all of Mass, then that's fine. And there is 70 people that do search it. Um, and you guys are number 11. So you're right at the top of the second page. And basically, I know you guys do Malden, but as many different areas, towns, and cities that you can service, you're going to want keywords for all of those. Um, and then that's just going to bring in even more traffic so that you guys can really dominate your competition. It looks like you guys do have a lot right now that has to do with your name, um, which is good, but you do want to focus on some of bringing in some of those new customers too for searches such as Landscaping Malden MA, then I would even expand to other towns nearby that you guys do work with. If I look at one of your competitors, Robinson's, Robinson Services, and I go ahead and throw them into Eris, they have 23 referring domains giving 82 backlinks, 470 keywords, they've lost a few recently, and they're having about 139 visitors per month. They did drop a couple. If we click their uh, keywords, we should see something fairly similar to yours. They are right behind you um, on the Google search. So Bobcat services, that's something a little different. Like I said, it's a little more of a national term, so that's not specific to your area. That is giving them 600 um, you know, people searching that. So that is a big chunk and it is vague. So it's not the strongest. This will be stronger, Landscaping Malden MA. Less numbers, but it's more specific to a location that you guys can actually help. Um, so 50 people do search that and they're number two behind you guys. So they are getting a chunk of that as well. Now for Malden Landscaping, they are number one for that term. So they are getting the majority of that 20. Uh, demolition companies in MA, 60 people search that. So it's just a different service that they offer. They're number four. So ideally you want to be top three in that one. Because um, people, you know, they're not going to search to the second page. So you want to be on the first page, so top 10. But ideally top five. And I try to get all my customers into the top three. So they can get most of that uh, volume. Then they also have another town here, Landscapers Melrose MA, 60 people. They're number four. They did drop a spot, but at least they're in the top five, so they're getting a percent of that. All right, guys, I hope that you guys found that helpful today and informational. Um, you know, if you guys want to hear more uh, information, then reach out. This is my number. We can set up a time to talk about what we could do. Um, if not, feel free to apply a few of the tactics and strategies I did show you today. Um, you guys are doing a good job in your area. I would recommend adding a few more towns for searches, and that will just double your um, your volume as well. And if you got, like I said, guys, feel free to use those tips. Uh, thanks for watching today, guys, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good one.